what the? Do my eyes deceive me? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages. Let's go through this stuff here. Little couple boxes. You wanna see what's in here? How do you open it? We broke it. All right. That's all just devastated. All right, so this will probably not make it for sale. What do we got here? Cufflinks. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Look. It's a dime. A pair of those. That's kind of cool. I don't know if they have any significance. They don't seem to have a maker on them or nothing, but I think those are silver. What do we got here? Ooh. Can this be gold? I got a pair of those. I like them. They don't seem to say any words on them, but I would get these all tested most likely. Another one. This is like the same make. I could tell by the, I could tell that whatever that, whoever made this one made that one just by the sheer structure of it. Do we have a pair of these? Yes, we do. A purr. Got a purr. These look. The quality of that metal in the back, just the way it is, I kind of feel like that's some gold or silver there. It's been a while since I found a gold or silver cufflink. Kind of some kind of a brown stone. We have a second one. Yes, we do. Right there. What does that say? Right. There? I think it says something in there. I can't tell though. These have the look of almost gold or silver though. That's kind of cool. I, I don't know where I would ever wear something like that too, but cufflinks. Who don't know nothing about cufflinks? Who don't love those? Those are pretty. I can see Benji liking these. What? These. It almost looks like gold. These are nice looking. If they aren't gold, they sure look close to it. Like I said, it's been a while since I found some of these in 14 karat, 10 karat even. Look at that, nice. Not a bad little piano. I don't know if you remember, I saw, I think this was in this video, I don't know if it was the previous one or the one after, but there was the clone box where this, well, this came out and I found this laying in the clone. This is a 585 necklace, it's broken. I'm gonna speculate that's like four grams. This looks like one tiny little earring right here. Not sure if it is gold, sure looks like it. A fraction of a gram. Then there's this here that says 14 carat. It's a little bit of weight too. That's gotta be like six grams. Then we have Possible diamond right there. Check that out. I have to get that tested with my diamond tester. Wait for this bad boy to warm up. Do 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 It would at least jump on that sense and even like watch you like that. Nothing. Hit the metal. Keys. I wonder what these go to. Maybe these could be the locks for the cases that we got to open up. More keys. Receipts. What were we buying? TJ Maxx. They like TJ Maxx a lot. Men's sportswear. Who? What's that? 
Look at that. All right. Imagine that. More cufflinks. Those don't look that cool. Right off the bat, you know they're not gold. You can see the, the way the back is painted. Like a mate. Ooh, what is this? Fourteen carat. This right here. Nice. A little bit of jade. 14 karat. It looks more like 10 though. That's what's funny about gold. Like see, see the coloration difference? Let me see if you guys can see that. This is something they do right here. This is probably 10 karat. And it's stamped 14 from what I could see. And this is 14, which is more commonly that yellow. I bet you money that that is a 10 karat and 14 karat. But this rope right here looks nice. I might have to keep this. I've been wanting a necklace. I might keep that. Oh, credit cards, TJ Maxx. Uh, guess. What was this? Is this gold? Be gold. Daddy loves gold. No. That's your more commonly known fake gold necklace. Generally, people get those before they move up to the real thing. I'd rather do without. Fake isn't good. Don't like fake. This is a silver chain. Sterling. With probably a fake... Can't tell if it's stamped something there. That's not, that's brass. That is brass, a brass cross. Kind of a different cross. It's like two crosses in one almost. And then a silver necklace. Not bad. Eight bucks in silver. What are these? These are kind of cute. Are they silver? We'll have them tested. Not gold. Not gold. Cheesy. And they go like this. And you go like that. And you lock it. Ooh. Is that gold? Nope. This is like earrings that match. Are you tripping? Do these match? Are these like similar pieces? See, look at that. But that was like an earring more or something. I don't know. Like I said, it's not often you find gold. There's the mate to the other one there. Not often you find gold cufflinks. It's been a while for me. It's been a while. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like makeup. All right. Ew. Well, that looks like a nice cuff link there. Check those bad boys out. A little bit of black onyx there. Okay, we got this. We already pulled them eight to that one out. Nice, we got a bunch of pairs. Is it a penguin? That's cute. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See, it's Mark. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? And we got this here. A little part of a cross. Or a, a half a, what is that? Like somewhere, is there, somewhere in the world is a best friend. They're just friend and this is best or vice versa. Or maybe they're like good and there's this is luck. Don't know. I th how about they get my loop on this one? Um, oh, I got a knife. Look at that. Take this to the next sword fight. George, you want a sword fight? You watch this video, I'm challenging you to a duel. 
world's smallest knife. Okay, ooh, what is this? Is that gold? No. Looks like it though. I'll tell you that much. We're gonna have that tested. That looks like a gold watch piece. Love to find a Rolex one of these days. You guys hear me say that often. Let's get the uh, loop real quick. Let's see if this works with you guys. Mm -hmm. Can we do this, ladies and gentlemen? Can we bring this in here to see? I can't see. It looks like it says gold or something. What do we have here? This looks kind of cool. It's a jade. It's definitely not gold. That would have been nice if that was gold. Heck. They feel coldish. Right, what is this? Egyptian y? Asian? Egyptian? I don't know. What's your guess? Comment below. What do you think this style is? It looks Egyptian almost to me, more than it does Asian. But it's nice, cool costume jewelry. Ooh. What is that? Like, oh, couldn't that be real? You take the week off. And we got a gold nugget. Look at that. A real genuine nugget. That's gotta be worth some. That's gotta be probably like at least 20 karat gold. I wonder if there's something else in there because I guess it wouldn't be able to fall in. And that's what holds it in, so. Can't get that to move up. You always wanna check behind there. This thing is junk, so if I can get this to. I'm gonna cut my finger on it. Look, I did. Okay. All right, well, if there's a diamond earring back there, we're screwed. Now, onto this box here. Onto this box here. What are we gonna open, drawer or top first? You can already see watches in there. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one and you are not it. All right, we have to open you a second. Okay. Ooh, some more of these. Joy. Be nice if they were solid gold. Looks like we got a pair. I like solid gold. I don't like gold plating. I'm sorry if I'm not enthusiastic about fake things. I don't like fake. Just how I am. I'd rather do without than have fake. Proving that. Ooh, we found the mate. We found the mate. Let's test, let's get the diamond tester out and check this diamond. Where we put the diamond tester? Again, hold on a second here. Come over here, let's get the diamond tester. We're gonna find out if these diamonds are real because that'll be a good marker if it's gold. Because now I really want to know because I have two of them. Look, this one and this one could be gold. All right, ooh, we got, what is that? Oh, that's weird and cheap, boring. Fake. Sorry, guys. Don't get mad at me. Everybody's always be like, you don't care about stuff. Those are, could be $4. Pirate, slow down. I'm trying, guys. You see, Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. This one looks almost gold right here. This one would be intriguing to have tested. It's got the right weight to it. Those have potential. I would have those tested. Because right, I'm not going to waste my time having just everything tested. I, I automatically know what should be tested and what shouldn't. No. He didn't wear these much. So they look like brand new. You can see that that's painted on there. Okay. Let's turn this thing. Turn them some. Some of the biscuits sideways. That's a small diamond, so let's turn it up. Turn it up. 
Turn it up there, pirate. Nope. So that makes me wonder if they're gold, because... Oh. Now, for this moment, what is in the watches? The greatest dad. That's a little sad. This right here, we should probably return to the office. This is something that is not about the monetary value. It's about the fact that this is something that he will never get back from his children. Should that even be a possibility? Ooh, what do we got here? It's a nice little Elgin, a little bling blingy, bit much. marks there hmm not bad what that's worth Elgin FG 1504 138 VJ 21 battery 364 Japanese motive nice here we have a Vicenci What the? Do my eyes deceive me? There's no way. Look at that. Did you see that right there? Can you see what I'm seeing? That says 14 carat. Oh, hell. Hells, yeah. Can we get that a little close up? Nope, ain't working. Hold on. 14 karat Italy right there on the band. 14 karat on. 14 karat right here on the watch base. Wow. <laughs> that's not a Rolex. I can tell you right now, that's not a Rolex, but damn it. That is about one of the best things I think I could have found right there. A gold Watch, 14 karat band, 14 karat base. Have no idea what that's gonna be worth. That's gotta be worth something because you gotta figure that the inside of this watch is probably 15 to 20. It's a battery operated most likely. The piece itself is 50 grams. I, I, that's 50 right there, maybe 60. Trust and believe, I'm probably right on that. Um, whoo, pirates. That's what we do. We hunt for gold, silver, and gems. And, uh, well, looks like we accomplished our task in that because now we have lots of gold. We got a little bit of silver, and there is some gems. So, damn it, Gina, that's nice. I'm very, I'm very excited. Let's put this back in our little watch case here. Actually, I want to set this right here for now. Now, crazy thing is the thing that made us spend $4,200 was seeing those locked cases over there. We still got to open those up. That's coming. That'll be at the end of the next video because that's just the way things are. I filmed three videos in a row, broke it into three videos, and that is at the end of the third video. Oh, the suspense. What is this? I'm excited. Le Chateau Rue LC, genuine diamond, has a goldish tone. Can this be a gold watch too, please? Mmm... Doesn't look like it. LC L Le Chateau 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 maybe twenty twenty M. I don't think that's gold, but damn, that's a nice look to it too. Real nice look. I like this. All right, so that's good. I think we're doing all right in this unit. The only thing that's kind of hard is that we're going to be keeping a lot of stuff, but... And that's a wrap. Second video down. We... The rest of this unit, $4,200. Going to see what's in the rest of it. What's in the cases. I think so far we're doing good. So far we're doing good. I love y'all. Blessings. Hi.